Okay, here is the chord progression for Save the Planet. It's eight measures. Almost the whole song is these eight measures repeated over and over, except for in the chorus, where we say the chorus lyric, there are some extra measures. I think it's two extra measures where the beat stops and then starts again. And then the outro, there are no chords with, with the different beat, the slower beat. But most of it is four measures of G minor, then two measures of C minor, then two measures of D7. So G, big G, little M represents a triad, which is G, B flat, D. And then big C, little M also represents a triad, which is C, E flat, G. Those are both minor triads as opposed to major. They're minor. Then D7 is a four note chord, not a triad, not three notes, but four notes with a D major triad plus a flat seven, which is C for D. But since we haven't gotten to all that yet, for now we're just playing the root of each chord, single notes, and the root is the letter that the chord is named after. So for G minor, we're just playing G. You can do it down low. And for C minor, we're just playing C. And for D7, we're just playing D. And the rhythm we were doing was quarter notes, which these slashes represent. Just playing, uh, matching the bass drum. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm gonna demonstrate it with the, uh, the second chorus being looped. My metronome counting. This is C minor. D7. Repeat. synth lead part that happens on the chorus just to show you what we can do later once you learn your triads and if you want to you can try these three note chords and if it's too hard to reach you can use two hands you can play the root with your left and the third and fifth with your right same thing for c minor c e flat g and then even the seventh chord which is probably going to be hard for you to reach at this point with one hand you can use 4-2 in your left, 2-4 in your right, like this, D, F sharp, A, C. And it's easier to reach that way. But start with just the, uh, to get the rhythm and the chord, the sound of the, just the basic idea of the chords changing at the right time. Just play the root. Four measures of G minor, two measures of C minor, two measures of D7, and each measure is four beats because we're in four four so that means you're going to play g 16 times four times four is 16 then c eight times because four times two is eight then d wait did i say that right 16 times then c eight times yeah then d also eight times because again four times two is eight four beats per measure four measures of g minor two measures of C minor, two measures of D7, and that most of the song is that repeated over and over. Okay.